Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something more video blogish because it's another video showing how we go sketching outside. But first let me show you the tools really briefly. Uh, I wanted to keep things really simple this time again, so I took my Moleskin watercolor sketchbook and a watercolor set. This is the Holbein set. I like to use this outside because it's light and sturdy. For the line work I took my Lamy Safari M fountain pen with blue waterproof ink inside and also some water brushes. I did not want to use regular brushes and water cups and everything this time, so I just took two water brushes with me. This time again we did not go alone, like the last time we went with Atelier Sento, but the group kind of got bigger and we end up with a lot of people, all of them artists, all of them living and working in Japan, so we had Ken Yimura and Martin Feino, and also had the pleasure to talk to Christoph Ferreira, we had Cecilia Nolivier from Atelier Sento and Kana was taking all the video. I took some videos with my iPhone too, so I managed to piece this video together from the short videos we took then. Uh, but the whole idea came from the thing that I said while we still were in Prague with Atelier Sento that I had my favorite sketching spot in Tokyo near Akihabara, so they wanted to go and because they came to Japan for the promotion of their book and for the promotion of their exhibition of works, we wanted to go to together and I didn't know that the group will be so big but uh, the place is really nice this is a place called Mansei Bashi it's really close to Akihabara you can see actually Akihabara from Mansei Bashi and this was an old train station it's not a train station anymore the train just passes above head but the but the brick building that's left from the station is turned into a kind of shopping mall and it has a wooden deck in front so we used this to uh, do the first sketch of the day. I really like it because the deck has nice chairs and you can sit there and you are not in the way of anyone but on the one side you can see the buildings, the colorful buildings with a lot of commercials and banners and everything that's Akihabara and on the other side you can see the bridges uh, near the Ochanomizu station. So the place is really convenient, the views are interesting, the old remnants of the station are really worth exploring so yes really nice sketching spot. For the next sketch we went closer to the Ochanomizu station because we wanted to see the bridges with the crisscrossing train lines and do a sketch there also. I enjoyed the whole day a lot, it was interesting to see everyone doing the sketches in the same place but everyone doing them in a different way with a different technique and kind of focusing on something completely different. I tried to sketch with watercolors and pen the bridges and the difficult buildings of Akihabara, making a simple but interesting sketch, but the other members of the group did completely different things like sketching people that they just saw around or sketching us while we were sketching or sketching the trains or doing all kinds of crazy stuff with ink and with brush pens. So. So it was really interesting to see everyone's approach to talk about stuff related to watercolors and art and comics and animation and business and just about life in Japan. And after we had enough talking and painting and drawing, of course we had to hit the local art supply stores to get the things that came up in our conversations. So win-win and we had a lot of great time. Okay, that's it for this video. I will put the locations of our painting sessions and link to everyone's social network accounts in the description below. I hope you liked this video. As always, feel free to share, comment and subscribe. And you can also support me on Patreon. See you in the next one. Bye.